There have been overwhelming displays of solidarity across Santiago de Compostela. Hotels have organized free rooms for crash victim relatives and local hospitals have been overwhelmed with people coming forward to give blood, as our correspondent in the city reports. This should be a day of celebration for Galicians, but it's a day of mourning after last night's crash. I'm in front of the Sarcia building in Santiago, where one can feel the sorrow of the families here seeking information. I've tried to speak with friends and relatives of the victims, but they're all silent, still in a state of shock. Most cannot express how they feel about what's happened. Mas todos recusaram, as pessoas ainda não conseguem digerir as emoções. But these people can count on a huge wave of support. Last night, several Galicians went to the city hospital to give blood. Ontem à noite, por exemplo, organizaram-se vários galegos a correram em There was even a call for them to go to other hospitals, such as Santiago Central Clinic, to deal with so many donors. Uma vez que o de Santiago de Compostela já não conseguia dar resposta à quantidade de gente. Para além disso, hoje aqui... Today, in this building behind me, there are also volunteers. Há voluntários, há empresas, por exemplo, de... Catering firms are distributing food and giving assistance to families. Famílias enquanto esperam, algumas para, por exemplo... Some are still waiting to identify their relatives and loved ones. E outros para saber onde os familiares se se encontram, uma vez que ainda nem todas as vítimas foram identificadas e é com esta solidariedade Galicia will need its solidarity as it tries to come to terms with this tragedy. Vão ultrapassando, tentando ultrapassar este momento de dor. Filipe Soares, a Euronews, em Santiago de Compostela, Espanha.